Greg from Zycor Gateway, and welcome to EPS Tech TV episode number two. This episode will be talking about different types of hot wires. Hot wires are made by taking special alloys and drawing them into a wire. These special alloys are poor conductors, so they generate heat when currents pass over them. There are also a few alloys and diameters are common in the hot wire industry. We'll be talking about that. The most common diameter is 0 0.014 inches. And uh, by the way, that is not 14 gauge, two different things. And the most common alloys are Rene wire, Inconel, and Nicro. Rene and Inconel wire uh, both take about two and a half to three amps to heat. They're, they're similar alloys. Um, Nichrome takes significantly more current but less voltage to heat. And, and, and of the three, Nichrome is, is mechanically the weakest and Rene is mechanically the strongest. For Rene and Inconel wire, it takes about two and a half to three amps of current to heat that wire to proper temperature. In order to get that, we need to put about one volt per inch of wire. So if we had a wire that's five feet long, 60 inches, we're gonna need about 60 volts on that wire to, to get our two and a half to three amps in order to heat it. Uh, I've got a little setup here and I'd like to show you guys what that looks like. Hi there, this is Greg from EPS Tech TV. Looking at a basic hot wire setup here so I can demonstrate the proper voltage current characteristics. We'll just look at the voltage today. Uh, the current takes a little more time and a little more understanding, so we'll, we'll, we'll be looking at that in future videos. Let's uh, take a look at what, what, what I've got here. We have a power supply, a variable power supply, uh, this black box right here. And also I've got a meter hooked to the wire. This is a, 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 a good volt meter that is now showing it's a, a two hundredths of a volt across this uh, 63 inch wire. So anyways, uh, uh, we have one end of the wire here the other end of the wire back there with a spring attachment on it so we can put some tension on it. On this end I, I, I've also got a weight gauge so so we can actually look at spring tension. We'll be looking at that in future videos also. So let me turn on this hot wire. You can see our voltage goes up about 66 volts. see the wire is slightly, slightly red. Move over here and I'm going to shut off the light here so we can see possibly that, that wire barely glowing red. Kind of difficult to see it's in any kind of light, but it is glowing very, very faintly. That is a proper temperature for a Inconel and a Rene wire at least. Um, and you can see that we're running at about 65 volts. That gives us about the proper temperature on an Inconel or, or Rene wire. Future videos we'll be looking more at uh, uh, things like spring tension and multiple wires and stuff like that. I'm going to adjust this voltage a little bit and you can see as I turn it down, voltage goes down and now the wire isn't nearly, turn it up and the voltage goes back up, we should have it about 65 volts, maybe 63. That's it here. Now we can see it glowing. See it glowing pretty good. Of course, any kind of light, <laughs> uh, can't see it glowing. Anyways, that's a, a good seat of the pants sort of adjustment for Inconel and, and Rene wires. Uh, one volt per inch, and when, when you get that, you should have a slightly glowing wire uh, that, that you can see in the dark. Thanks a lot, and God bless. Take care.